See? See? Nice. Show me. Show me. In my first bed bug dog training video, I received uh, some comments from people on YouTube that didn't understand the wheel. Uh, someone even wrote, well, what if there was uh, bacon strips in one of the cups? So let me explain how this works. Um, here in, in the uh, first position here, we have uh, human food, uh, Cheerios. Uh, this could be uh, something common that's lying around somebody's house when we go to do a home inspection. We want the dog to ignore any other scents except uh, bed bugs. Here we have um, dead bed bugs, and uh, we do use dead bug, bed bugs for training because if we go and uh, do a, uh, a search after an extermination, uh, we don't want the dogs to hit on dead bed bugs. Uh, we want to find just any live ones that may be remaining or uh, viable bed bug eggs. Uh, here we have uh, coffee. Um, it's a strong scent. Uh, could be lying around someone's house. And uh, again, we want the dog to learn to only hit on live bed bugs and to ignore all their scent. Um, so here we have. Uh, here we have actual dog food, and again, you know, dogs. Uh, you know, you could have have dry dog food, and uh, there's some uh, uh, sausage cut up in there. You know, again, we want them to ignore anything except live bed bugs. Here, I have money. You know, money uh, gives off a scent to dogs. Um, it could be lying around the house, and we we want them to ignore that as well. Uh, in the final position. Final position here, I have uh, live bed bugs. Now, uh, it's kind of hard for you to see these. Uh, they are in there. I'm not going to take the top off. I have a uh, special mesh in there to make sure that they don't escape. Um, and uh, But there's adult bed bugs, nymphs. There's uh, uh, some viable eggs. And this is, uh, this is what we want the dog to hit on. The only thing we want them to hit on, and this is the only thing that they get rewarded for, so they, they learn to ignore all our other scents. Um, so what we do is spin the wheel, um, I have to walk the dog around, have him hit, and we'll spin it to change the position, walk around again, have him hit, and we just continue to repeat this process. And that's how we uh, the wheel is used. This is our uh, training wall. I want to talk about this also. Um, Again, on YouTube, someone had asked me, uh, uh, geez, what if you had bacon strips in the training wall? Would the dog hit on that? Well, no. And what would bacon strips be doing in a wall? I don't know. But anyway, uh, so here we have uh, different hides built into the wall. Um, and we have these uh, about seven to eight different places that we change out daily. Here's behind an electrical outlet, um, which bed bugs often are in electrical outlets and enables them to travel from one room to another. Um, and the dogs train on this wall in the wheel every day. Here we have another hide, uh, a couple more. And again, we switch these out daily so the dog never quite knows where to look. Behind the uh, uh, air duct here we have uh, another another hide, another potential hide. Um, so this is a again a daily process. They work on this every day. Uh, it's essential that they, um, they, they learn that the bed bugs can be anywhere and not just in, in beds. Bed bugs, live bugs, metal container. All in there, probably about 40 or less. I'm gonna put it right on the end of a bed. Put it right under here. Put it back down like it's normal. And there's bed bugs under there for Phoebe to uh, find. That's it, seek. Come on, seek. 
Zeke. Zeke. Show me. Show me. That's pretty good right there. Here, let's take a look where it is. Right here. Next level up. The next level. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. There's the bugs. See, 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 see. Where? Show me. Show me. Good. Good girl. Ready? See, see, see. Show me. Show me. Show me good. Good. Now. Show me, show me. Good girl. Park it. Show me, show me, show me. Good. Show me. Good. Good girl. Good girl. 